Hey guys, this is Diana and you are about to watch a unique video with Billy Ball's crazy adventure in Red Bull Romaniacs 2021. We have the best footage with him in action along with great inside details told by Billy himself. Stick around to find out how and why he missed the podium. Enjoy the madness. This way or no? Tell us a little bit on the on the time trial. You've been already uh, two minutes forty behind, uh, just a tenth position. What happened? Um, I had a pretty big crash uh, just at like one minute after the start. <laughs> Just misjudged kind of the where the track went. Um, I kind of had in my head because it was the, almost the same start from last year. So I kind of had in my head I did this line last year and just completely misjudged it. And there was a, a pretty big hole. Um, and when I seen the track was more to the left, I was already kind of in the air, so I had no way of turning the bike and just uh, yeah, pretty much went head first into a hole. Um, yeah, one minute off the start. I twisted my knee or banged my knee pretty hard, which kind of set the tone for the week, really. I, I made it to the finish, but I really didn't feel good at all. My, I, I thought for sure I wasn't going to be starting the next day with how my knee felt at the finish. You know, that I had um, some really not good feelings going on in there and stuff like that, and I was I was struggling with it. But I, uh, I went and seen a physio and kind of did some manipulation work on it and kind of got it feeling good again and, and back in place at least. So. Um, he, without him, I think for sure I wouldn't have been in the finish line. Your day one performance, the first long day, you've been uh, 22 minutes behind. Did you have additional yeah, crashes also, or that, things? No, no, that day was actually going pretty good. And then the, the final uphill, um, just after the river jump, I forget the name. The Titanic? Um, almost at the top, the, you start ahead a little bit to the left on an off camber, and I just went too low and went in, in, a, in a hole and was completely stuck. Come on, okay. Back wheel there, all right? Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. Put it in the, put it in that hole and we'll come forward. Yeah. Gently, yeah. Okay, have a breather. Take, take a few deep breaths. And then get your front wheel right up on the grass so your back wheel tracks in the rut. Fucking hole I've just been in down there. When you walk down, you'll see. Yeah, do you want some water? Just get, wait, front wheel high, alright? Me, Johnny, and Taddy rode together pretty much most of the day. Uh, and then me and Johnny just made a little break on Taddy going into that section, so I was with Johnny until there. Um, it was the same line we actually, again, thinking about last year's line, so I need to stop doing that for next year. It was the line we used last year, but it just kind of almost, um, the track was gone. It was went to a stone, uh, like a pretty big stone, and I just kind of slid down off it and was too low to then make the next switch back. And was, um, I thought I wasn't even, wasn't gonna get out of the position I was in, to be honest. I thought I'm here until the back, the sweepers come in there and pull me out. I managed to get back across, um, like turn around 180 and get back almost to the ridge and back onto the racetrack. But I think um, 
looking at the the times and kind of how Johnny finished, I lost about 10 minutes. Again, not really related to the time trial problems, but more problems on day one, which was frustrating because the rest of the day I actually rode pretty good. I think I was um, second at the service. No real big mistakes, just kind of me, Johnny and, and Taddy were battling pretty close, so definitely lost a, quite a few positions and a lot of time all on the, the final gold section. And just getting back to the track, I smoked myself pretty hard. I got to the, the next few switchbacks and Skinner was there and I think I was completely done. I said to him like, is this the finish after this? And he said, yeah, I was like, thank goodness. Cause like the, <laughs> the trees were starting to move. I was feeling so hot. <laughs> That's the last down here. Oh. Oh. Cheers. So thankfully we're near to the finish and I didn't have too much longer to go. But yeah, pretty time trial in day one was a was a disaster really. Both their own problems and, and my mistakes, but to be in the top positions overall, you can't be starting the, the week like that and expect to be at the top by the end of the week. So So of what they do went actually quite well. You finished uh, third, not far behind Mario, just uh, two minutes. Still a good ten minutes uh, behind uh, Manuel, he was going really fast on that day. Yeah, um, day two started, um, I remember seeing you and being very hot on, and you, you mentioning that yeah, um, Kill Them All was living up to its name and yeah. I wasn't really in the mood for jokes at that time. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I set off just behind Alfredo and caught him in the first, the first uphill and then he was actually pushing really hard on the fast sections and we caught up to, there was a big group of us, it was like me, Johnny, Wade, Teo and Mario all together and Alfredo for all the way pretty much until kill them all and then we kind of started to, to spread out. I think um, this year there was a lot of that, we all kind of without Manny and Graham who seemed to be on a on a different racetrack or eating something different for breakfast they were like on another level this year the rest of us seemed to be together a lot of the race until almost like someone gets too tired and drops off the back or someone you know makes a really big mistake you can afford like a small crash or something and catch the guys but um, yeah it seemed to be like that so we were together pretty much until kill them all and then a few guys started to drop back kill them all good name for how many before the service? Uh, this is the last one. And I think I was actually third at service behind Man uh, Manny and Graham and then um, lost uh, the one more well, one position to Mario in the in the afternoon. But um, overall, yeah, I was pretty happy with how it went. Definitely a, a big, big improvement from time trial in day one. A lot less mistakes and, and just, yeah, I was pretty happy to make it to the finish line in one piece. A big improvement and a nice, yeah, from eighth until ill fourth overall so was uh, moved up the, the leaderboard quite nicely. It seemed that uh, the night in the tent was working out well for you because the next day you finished second then? Yeah. Yeah I enjoyed it to be honest like from when I first heard the news I was quite looking forward to this to be honest. I thought it's um it's something different, it's something kinda new for everybody so it's it's pretty exciting and it was it was cool. It was nice to just kinda hang out with the guys and yeah, we don't do too much in the afternoons anyway, but you know, you didn't have to drive from the finish back to the hotel and then kind of pay everything for the next day. You kind of just arrived and were, were chilling for the whole afternoon, you know, swam in the river a little bit and kind of all just hung out. So it was, slept pretty good. I felt pretty good the next morning, to be honest. Um, and day three also went pretty good. Um, I started, started third, Wade just started behind me. He actually caught me pretty much in the first uphill. Um, I was, uh, a little bit slow, just not really pushing too hard in the first uphill. He caught me pretty fast and I had to push pretty hard to catch back up to him, but I managed to and I'm pleased I did because I, I felt pretty good after that. We both kind of battled the whole day, kind of overtaking each other and like more of the same thing. Like I'll usually kind of get by him in a, in a super difficult section and then near the top of the hill when it starts to be not so steep and the switchbacks are quite fast or I'll tend to make a mistake when we get near the top and he's right back on me or passing me and we're, yeah we battled pretty much you know overtaking each other all the way to the finish line I think I finished yeah four seconds after him in the finish line but he started one behind so it was like 34 seconds in the end but it was a was actually a pretty enjoyable day it was nice to, to you know not too many mistakes at all really I don't think I had any crashes or anything stupid like that 
um, and just yeah, rode hard and, and battled hard from, from start to finish. Yeah, day day four you finished third, so also quite yeah. Quite day good. four again started pretty good. I was three minutes forty, I think, behind Mario overall for third position going into day four. So obviously that was you know the goal for day four was to try and you know pull three minutes back on Mario. Um, but I was starting second and he was starting seventh or eighth, I think, from the day before. So I knew it was was going to be quite difficult. He had a, a lot of guys to kind of make time on and, and pull him along. So, um, but I set off, you know, try and give everything the whole day. I caught Wade, um, you know, made three minutes on Wade in the first checkpoint. But I just found it so difficult, you know, like he's faster. Um, I think on the fast sections, we were pushing each other pretty good. And the really difficult areas, I was kind of a little bit faster and then the easier gold sections he was really fast and, and he would kind of just um, like arrive and almost overtake me from nowhere and we'd end up battling and then I'd always be or seem to always be uh, behind him coming into the difficult section so I was kind of waiting a little bit whereas you, you know you can see you're behind so you're like oh, if I just arrived into this section in front maybe I would have one minute or one minute thirty by this time and stuff so it's the gold loops seem to have so many different um, so many different options and so many different lines and it was very difficult to kind of pick the right one and we both made a lot of mistakes um you know we were back and forth but mainly just because you know we one got one of us would pick a rut and we'd have to turn around and go back to the ridge or back to the middle of the hill and then like for i lost count of the number of times you know we were both kind of turning around so just difficult like it's just the the way it works you know you end up being at the front and it wasn't a it wasn't a particularly nice time to be leading the race um so I could tell kind of the guys behind would be, you know, gaining quite a bit of time. Also, you know, the the spectators and stuff like that would kind of see which line was the bad one and stuff like that. But again, like just, just the way the, ra the race works and, and uh, how it played out that I, that I was at the front at that time. So, um, yeah, got to service and I'd, the time I made in the first couple of checkpoints, I'd, I'd lost again and we were pretty much the same. So it was three minutes. The difference going into the from service to the finish and again i pushed pretty hard but the morning the first couple of checkpoints and also the hills are pretty dry on day four and quite really quite stony a lot a lot stonier than, than it has been and my tire was pretty smoked already at the service point the is fucking hell. i have to you have to check also your tire man mine fucked <laughs> mine my moose my moose was so big when i just had to put a smaller one in yeah fuck <laughs> look at that so the hills are so rocky. Fuck. Have to keep pushing. Yeah, sure. So this, the afternoon there wasn't really anything left of it at all. So I just um, still push, still give everything all the way to the finish, but couldn't make up any more time. Mario actually was faster than me in the afternoon and beat me on the day. Um, so you know, but a pretty good battle. Nice to be, you know, to think after the first two days that I was going to be battling for third place at the end of the week. I would wasn't expecting like to say after time trial. I really didn't see how I was going to ride the next day already so I was um, disappointed obviously to be battling for third for me here at this race uh, is pretty good for me I think from where I was a couple of years ago I was that's not something I was expecting to do uh, but obviously you know when you come so close and don't make it it's it's difficult to swallow but you know we'll be back <laughs> for the victory it's it's coming it's crazy to think like this is my sixth time here and um, I, I think just the, you know the way obviously the last couple of years have been crazy and not a lot of some races haven't happened and this is the like the race I've actually raced the most in my career now um, it was definitely the um, the most difficult and uh, the least enjoyable for me to start off with I'm not gonna lie I didn't think you know the first couple of years I was ever gonna gonna quite understand how to figure this place out but I think you know the the last two years for sure I've, I've made some yeah real big steps forward and in, in starting to figure it out and like I say I think with a better start to the week it could have been a lot better but um, 
you can say that about everything at the end of the day that's that's how it worked out it wasn't uh it wasn't meant to be for this mm. year but again a uh, pretty amazing week in the mountains um not much uh, not much else to see looking into the high speed sections or the very steep up and downs where do you see more danger um we're right at the end of the day we're riding motorbikes so anyone that is scared of danger i think is in the wrong sport i think um the high speed sections at the end of the day it's up to you and how fast you want to push so i don't think really you can again blame the sport for that um and you know to get to the difficult sections we need to have the fast sections otherwise you know we're only going to be racing in 20 k's around sibiu or something like this so i think they're all part of the sport um i've had crashes on the fast sections and i had a pretty big crash on a gold climb last year which i think everyone's seen but at the end of the day i it's i there's no one i don't see how you can blame anyone for that you know like uh, the difficult sections you can you kind of always know your limit and which lines are possible and stuff and yeah at the end of the day we're racing so you might want to try something uh a little bit beyond possible but it's your decision at the end of the day so i don't see i think the danger is kind of just how far you want to push it and how hard you want to push it thanks for your efforts putting on the race yet again hats off to you and the team thank you very much yeah we'll see you next year hope so yeah I never used to say that when I first used to come, I used to say I'm never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you next year.